So I'm fixing to have a bunch of people call me an idiot. I think that you are absolutely correct. Do not try what you're fixing to see at home. This is absolutely, absolutely dangerous and most certainly deadly. This would kill you in a heartbeat if you didn't know what you were doing or if you do know what you're doing and you get careless. But I built a little simple uh, carry round 480 volt current limiting power supply. Before we get to what we're going to do with this, we're going to test this. I want to take you out and show you. I got a clip on my phone of, of what we're working on here. Thought y'all might be interested in seeing this. This is some uh, lightning carnage. Hopefully I can piece this together good enough to make it work. This has blown up before, but this is the, uh, this is the bad one. Um, I think that the power is still on. The meter over there is alive. Both transform fuses are up. Generally, if you lose a transformer, the uh, fuse will, will fall immediately and the meter is lit up. It's got a blown fuse right here in this disconnect. Everything else looks like it's probably still alive. Uh, we just took a, uh, took a lightning strike, had a transient voltage or something that caused a uh, very high voltage across here. You can actually see from from this here this nut it arced down to this box it's burnt the paint off where it's had a couple arcs across here this thing is uh is pretty burned up this wire here went across here this this top thing here was a phase monitor and it shuts the lease down if you lose one of the three phases uh, it blew that wire in two and blew the insulation basically it blew the insulation off here um this, this was blown off. Uh, this went back around probably into there. Uh, this one here went from here, I guess. Something like that. And, uh, and it's blown it completely off. I would bet this little transformer, this is a 480 to 120 transformer, steps down the voltage for these control stuff. It's probably smoked. They usually blow up pretty quickly. Uh, this wire was, was, you know, back around here. I pulled it out. It's off that middle terminal. This goes down to the coil and blew up. You can see it looks like it struck an arc from here to the back of the box. Uh, the box is grounded. And it looks like it had an arc struck. See, it actually has melted that brass bolt down in there. It struck an arc down into there somewhere. Probably better pull this apart and look it over. And it looks like down here, these must have drawn an arc between these three. Um, whatever you call those lugs. And there's some co melted copper. Must pop pretty hard. We're gonna find out if we can uh, fix this or not. Okay, so as I said earlier, this is an extremely dangerous device. It will kill you. Don't try to make anything like this at home. Even if you understand what you're doing and you get reckless, you will die. This is, you know, not not. You take this as entertainment purposes only. Don't 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 try this at home. What I got here though, I've got a. Uh, this is supposed to be a 480 to 120 step down transformer. I'm using it backwards. We're going from 120 to 480 step up transformer. Uh, it's got some fuses in. It's got a three quarter amp fuse on the 480 volt side and a two amp on the 120 volt side. We've got a 200 watt incandescent light bulb that is wired in series with the primary, the low voltage, I guess you'd call it low voltage primary now, winding of this transformer. And what this light bulb does is an incandescent light bulb works really good as a current limiting supply because the resistance of a tungsten filament actually changes depending on its temperature. And you can actually get up pretty close to the rated current of a incandescent light bulb before the bulb begins to glow. When you plug this in, um, you know, turn your, your switch on, you know, 200 watts divided by 120 to be an amp and a half or something. It might actually pull four or five amps while the tungsten filament comes up to temperature, at least at least two or three. And anyway, this allows us to pull, you know, a hundred watts or something through this light bulb with very little voltage drop across the bulb. So I just wanted to show you here. I've got my my meter here. I'm going to clip this on, 
and hold this in my hand here, plug this in, and I like to use a wall wart, or what do you call it, a, a power strip with a switch on it. Makes this easier to use. We can touch this. Now, I just wanted to show that this is a, you know, we've got 490 volts there, something like that. This is full juice. Okay, I got this a little bit spread out here. It makes it a little bit less nerve-wracking to use. So I'm going to go ahead and power this up. And at this point, we've got 480 volts across these two wires. And this is a 150-volt rated lamp cord, but we've got it, uh, <laughs> we got 480 across it. And if I touch these two wires together, it's current limited by the light bulb. It's limited by, you know, we draw a little bit of arc there. It's limited by the um, by the light bulb. So we can use this to touch this uh, contactor, see if it works. And it does. All right. So there's probably a lot of y'all asking, why do you do this? What's the point? Why don't you just hook it up and see if it works? And there is a reason that I'm doing this. And, and then it goes for other things too. You know, phase monitors, there's just other things that there's times you need to be able to shoot, you know, 500 volts across them and see if something's shorted, if something blows up. Uh, this is a really handy device to have. And of course, when you don't use it, you just throw it up on a shelf somewhere and it doesn't take up much space. But the, uh, so the transformers out there are 37.5 kb transformers. And what's that, what that means is, is that the current rating of the transformer is 37,500 divided by their nominal voltage, which is 480. And that gives you your, uh, your current rating. And that is about 100 amps or 85 amps or something like that. I can't do the math in my head, but whatever it is. But anyway, if you short circuit across the secondaries of those transformers, they will make much, much, much higher current than 80 or 100 amps, whatever their rating is. Uh, up into the several hundreds, you know, 500 amps or maybe even more than that. And if this little coil in this contactor was bad and the inside of it has shorted and melted like the rest of the wires in that box, you're going to have three or four or 500 amps go through this, um, this coil for a very short period of time. Even if you were to put some small one or two amp fuses, you're still going to have a very high amount of current that goes through those fuses and through this coil for a very short duration. And you know, in this particular instance, and this is typical of most in those control panels, you know, there's not any kind of fuse for the coil. There's just the main fuses. And uh, you know, if you put three or four or 500 amps at 480 volts to this coil for a tenth of a second, well, that's you know, over a quarter million watts. And these things will literally go kaboom. You know, it's like you put a little stick of dynamite in the box. I mean, they just blow parts everywhere. And so anyway, by bringing it back here to the shop and testing it, we get an actual full voltage test on it. You know, we're going to make sure that there's not something, you know, it's not like checking it with an ohm meter where it's just about to blow up. You know, we actually check it to see if it's going to pop. And we can, you know, if it is shorted, you know, the only thing happens is the light bulb comes on and, uh, you know, it just works really well. Anyway, I kind of wanted to show you what we're doing here. I've got to go out there and get this thing back going. I hadn't had time to do a lot of videos. It's been raining. We've had electrical storms every few days. And, you know, these electrical things like this are a common occurrence. I will have, uh, I'll have some more videos out soon, but this is sort of what you get for this weekend. I appreciate you watching. I'm going to go out there and get to work. I got a lot to do. I wanted to show you this. I thought y'all might think it's interesting and, uh, and stupid. Appreciate you watching. I'll catch y'all in the next one.